Now here's the IC7300 tuned into a CW signal that's uh, about S2, fairly weak. You can just barely hear him. And then I'll take this, set it on top of the speaker. Take it off. It's hard to copy without it. The details of this thing are not too critical. I just happen to have these in the junk drawer. It's called a Street L. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever plumbing is sold. Uh, this is a two inch size and this piece here is a piece of vacuum cleaner pipe used for central vacs. I just happen to have laying around you can see it's about three inches stuck it in there. So the uh, overall length determines the resonant frequency and this just happened to come out around 640 hertz or something. If you want to go up you can just cut it shorter. If you want it lower you can make it longer. The only trouble is if you make it too long it'll fall over like that. Having the radio slanting back like this helps. Now you could glue some magnets around the inside here and that would stick to the metal on the rig and probably what I'll do. But it makes CW much more uh, articulate, it eliminates the, the noise. There you go. It's our neat trick of the day. 73.